so um, this is Ed Mingo of Parastro Strings, and they have a new string out for violin. So tell us about your new string and what it is. Okay, so the whole idea behind the perpetual line is if you notice, um, it's a very plain packaging. Yeah. Compared to some of the older brands like Ava Parazzi and Passione, which are more colorful packaging. Yeah. Ava, all the older Parastro strings, Ava Obligato, Ava Parazzi Gold, were ver variations of the Parastro theme. So they were Ava uh, Parastro Warm, Parastro Soloist. They were just variations of the old of the same formula. What we did with the Perpetual is the first time we're actually taking a step outside of our comfort zone. Uh, if players like a Parastro string, they like the gut-like overtones, they like the gut feel, they, that's the sound they're looking for. If players were telling us they didn't like Parastro strings, some of the reasons were uh, they wanted more clarity and they wanted a quicker bow response. So this is what, so we basically took everything we've been doing with our violin strings and started from scratch and we've come out with a string, the Perpetual, which has that quick bow response that players who don't use Parastro strings are looking for, uh, and that clarity, but yeah. still have some of that Parastro color. So it's got an extremely fast bow response, so it's less tension than the Ava Parazzi, but has the same volume and a quicker bow response, but still has a little bit of that Parastro, not a little bit, a lot, still has those overtones that a lot of players are looking for. Um, what certain luthiers have been telling us is the Parastro sound here, our competitors sound here, correct retros are in the middle. So it's a great bridge string for certain players looking for just a, an alternative to what, you know, something different than the Parastro sound and something different than our competitors. Okay, um, last year we actually introduced uh, the Model 2 Corf Caress, so all the, the Corf Caress now should say the Model 2 on the packaging. Uh, there are, have been some improvements to the shoulder rest. Uh, the first thing are the feet. The original feet um, had a different synthetic. This new synthetic actually holds to the violin quite a bit better. And if you notice, they're actually now coming with a new pad. The new pads are actually thicker in look, but less dense. Uh, so they actually take some weight relief off the shoulder rest. The whole idea behind the cloth rest was to mute the violin as little as possible. So it weighs about the weight of a slice of bread, but is also very flexible. It's made out of a it's made out of maple, and we do use a violin varnish to make it look like a part of the instrument. But it, it's been treated so there is actually you can actually bend the shoulder rest to get it into different positions. Uh, it's actually one of the most adjustable shoulder rests out there, and the Model 2s are all coming what we call an ergo pack, which is just an extra knuckle that goes in between to give the player extra adjustability for height, uh, if they want to bring it off their shoulder, or if they even want to use it for a smaller violin, they can bring the fork in. 